All right, welcome back. So let's go with the acid flow. As mentioned earlier, the highlighted variable parameters data and PNG, PNG len are currently at, at attacker controlled impute data and the populate map and metrics field is required to be true to reach the vulnerable code. So let's begin. First of all, the data is interpreted as a stream and that's what we observe in the animation. And then eventually the stream would be used to create the actual PNGD, write to the actual PNGD struct. After that, they will be extracting some information from the PNGD, such as the image width and image height, which are particularly of relevance to this vulnerability. Keep in mind that the size of the image width and the image height are 32-bit 30, sized integers. Eventually, if that parameter populate map on and metrics is set, the width and the height read from the PhD would actually be truncated to a shot used to fill up the special structure which is referred to here by the metrics variable. So we observe the inter inter integer trun truncation take place and hopefully this is not used in any sort of size allocation. We do observe an integer arithmetic, but there is no overflow here because the, the, the value, the result variable pitch is of size 32 bits and that calculation does not, it does not actually overflow a 32 bit integer. There is then some validation performed to ensure that the size, the PNG size passed to this function is not larger than the maximum bitmap that it can create. Of course, here also the computation checks out because the comparison is between unsigned integers. Okay, so as we go, the, go for the down, then we get to the point where the code is going to actually try to allocate memory for that size and then proceed to pass, the, pass that memory and the PNGD to PNGD read image, which is this function down here that actually belongs to a different library and treats things slightly differently. Right here, we might suspect that there might be room for an overflow, but uh, we're not particularly sure because we would need to refer to other parts of the code to see where this value is being used. But that's not the point of this vulnerability. The particular point we want to pay attention to is actually the PNG read image function call here because rows was calculated using the truncated values right, that were read from the uh, PNG struct. But then the actual PNG itself is passed to this other library, which turns out that it uses the original 32-bit sized image width to perform the calculations. So the, the vulnerability actually gets triggered within this function because the truncation values were used to, com were used to compute the size of the rows, but the original values were used to copy PNG struct. So there, there will be some sort of overflow when writing to the allocated memory within this PNG read image. What was the fix? Well, we did see earlier that there was some sort of validation to make sure there, are, there, are, there isn't any extra large bitmaps passed to this function, but actually the location of that verification was what was important. The, the verification was performed after the truncation when in fact it should have been performed before the truncation to ensure that overflow does not occur. For additional information, check out the Google Project Zero documentations, uh, the original bug discussion in reference three and some other further articles by various researchers.